fully assimilated, then your yi has done its job, and the experience is yours. That knowledge is yours. So long as I'm just telling you what my teachers told me, my yi has done no work. And the minute I can start to explain it in my own words, then I have digested it, my yi has done the work and made this product, and I can give it to you. So at the moment, your yi is working overtime. No, Mark, the Mark. There is a Chris, there is a conversation about etheric soul. So see, it's hard for them to di- to digest it. Of course it is. You haven't got any references yet. They're coming, don't worry. They'll be there any any minute now. Hang on in there. Huh? Yeah, no, it's coming now, immediately now. So if you have the yi in the middle, which Eyal quite correctly said is the sound above and the heart. So the sound of your the, your heart makes, the sound that other people's heart makes when you integrate them into yourself becomes knowledge, becomes thought, becomes intention and focus and your way of moving through the world. So we, like a like a worm eats its way through the earth, it eats and then it shifts. Exactly like that we do as well. We eat our way through life. But this is on the spirit psycho spiritual level. Now there was talk about the etheric soul there. It's next to the yi. So take a look at the two characters, one on each side of the yi. Look at them, and you see they're quite similar in one way, aren't they? The right part. Exactly, it's the same. Huh? The paw and the hoon. Yeah, exactly. So the one on this side is the hoon. It's the etheric side. And this is the paw. So it's the same diagram, just transposed across to this page. So you can use the same words, same information, just flip it over and write it onto this page. So the ju is at the bottom and the shen is at the top. So we use the word soul to describe the hun and the pole. We say the etheric soul is the hun and the animal soul is the pole. There, in the contrast, we begin to understand the difference between them. One is etheric, to do with ideas, inspiration, vision. The other is to do with the body, the physical matter of living and the boundaries of the physical where I stop and Ellie begins. My paw regulates that and only lets people in who I agree with. It doesn't let any old shit come into me. Ellie, oh, fine. Somebody on the street who's like behaving violently and none of my paws says, and tells me to get away from you. It regulates what enters and what leaves. So it's also instincts. Huh? It's a lot to do with instincts. It's very a lot to do with animal. And the animals that are all like, turn the tail with the. This is very much this part we have too, right? You can see it, 